Howdy. Welcome to Return of the Obra Dinn. Game by Lucas Pope, and it's a fantastic uh, mystery game. I played it like a long time ago. Maybe 10 years ago, not sure. And they, even then, they didn't play it fully. They played it like recently, like an hour or two. Basically, I don't remember much. <laughs> But it's a very good game, and I'm gonna try to play through it all. Let's dig in. Lost at sea, 1803. The good ship Obadin. Captain Arrow, contact East India Company, London office for inquiries of testimony. Attention, Chief Inspector. Insurance and Claims London Office. The Obadin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately. And prepare a full assessment. Oh. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Obradin. Uh, yes. Not many eager for that job. Okay. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. <laughs> Sorry, one second. I did. Give it a tea bag. Game looks good and bad in the same way. See, all these cells are apparently ragged. Mass is broken. Hmm. And a man is dead on the deck. Wonderful. In the world is that? Things out there, I think it might. Things are out there in the water. Hmm. Oi! It's too heavy! Okay. <laughs> I figured this little box is too heavy. Too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. I... Yes. Right the heavy little box with a book and an A and a pocket watch. Seems more like you just being me. Turn to the end over there. Catalog of adventure and tragedy. Leave us. I trust that you now found yourself aboard the Overdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Overdin is critical. I need to discover its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense, though, in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Read each chapter accurately and return to book, but guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for now. Okay. Well, considering chapter 3 is up called Murder, I, uh... Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be... 
Oh, I can cover map too. After the boat took. And one, oh, not where it took where we're supposed to take. I wonder where it disappeared from though. Especially since we were found around here, I think. Cargo, rapid walk, roll up, close in the store, cargo. Okay. Crew, complete Chris. Hmm. Okay. And a picture of everyone on the boat. The crew. I think there's some passengers, it looks like. Moves and warriors, dude. Okay, just a lot of book pages, and they fill this all out except for the bargain. What does that mean? And a pocket watch. Memento Mortem. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So let's see now. So I gotta do my job, figure out what happened here, and also write that book for that guy. Are these the, uh. Un are not the parts that go in the, uh, that. Which I'm pretty sure that this is the anchor. So the anchor is completely busted. That's very ominous over there. Something broke out of the cage. You're the captain, I suppose. That is a badass line. <laughs> but the watch, you can see a moment frozen in time. Bullet went down over right here. I wonder if we can find that. Straight through him. Right here. Oh, oh that, that basically had the shatter the shoulder bone as well. chest and then turn it. Perspective. 
inside the captain's quarters. Who is this and how did they die? Can't tell who that guy is because that's because if you can tell who someone is, their portrait will be more cleared up. But he was shot. Ah, uh, where is... There it is. Nope, there. Not with a gun. By the captain. Good surround sound. I'm gonna check if that bullet is still there. Probably not. I think it's been enough. To, it's been long enough that the sails have rotted away, and this guy's nothing but bones. Hang on a second. I was trying to see if it did shatter his rib thing. That would have ended up somewhere around here. And that nope, probably fell through there. I mean, I don't need, I don't need to know where the window ended, but I want to see if it's actually down there. And because the, that door was open in the, uh, th in the image, it's open here. I've been on a boat like this before. I actually spent the night on it. The field trip way back. It was really cool. Hmm. Oh, two corpses. And a couple of the knives and this this spear. Now let's start with this schmuck. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. Hmm. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. <laughs> That was a very quiet fight, which I guess makes sense. Yep, that's one of the knives. Where'd the other one go? What's that? Oh, that's the other knife. <laughs> Guy's trying to flank him. Yeah, couldn't you use the pistol on that other guy, because, uh... Yeah. Wait, bottom of this... Clever, a hammock, but it's a hammock bed. So you won't have to play as much with the waves. But that's clever. Also, oh, having an actual bed, that's pretty good. Bad. Knifed. Well, Captain's got two kills under his belt. <laughs> hmm. That sucks for him. This guy over here. I'm guessing he's the one who, who tried to flank and failed. <laughs> oh, that gurgling is not in the good. Who brained in the head with the spear? While he's choking to death on the blood. So it's open though now. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Now you can see how this game works, right? Find a body, use the watch, see how that person died. Like, see the last moments of their dead life. Or the last moment of their life. Hearing like a few moments before. If 
surprised that the spear wasn't actually used to spear anyone. <laughs> this more poor schmuck was clubbed to death with a spear. That's cool. That's what, three kills under your name? And that's only if we don't count your responsibility as the ship captain. In which case, uh, everyone is dead. Yeah. You know, that's Captain, obviously. Tell by fancy hat. Sixty people on the ship. Gotta figure out who everyone is. Have to make an assumption with partial information and figure out identities with process of elimination. Wish me luck! Can I? No, I can't. I can't. I don't think it can just go straight from another person's death in a dream. Not a dream. What is this? Vision? Huh. <laughs> Let's start with Captain. We're pretty sure we know how he died. It's a chair. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him, okay. dead. Who's Ab so Abigail? I'll be with you soon, my love. Uh. Please forgive me for everything. Uh, I see. Oh, you can see you can see he was bleeding from earlier. I guess they did, I guess he might, he might have actually gotten stabbed. I think yeah, I think he actually did get hit, like, hit with the knife or he did a knife or that. This guy's badass. I don't know how long this ship's been lost at sea. May or may not be correct. The valid here in sets of three. Okay. And let's see. Abigail, who's let's see. Abigail, Abigail. Abigail Huskett Whitrill. Captain's name was Whitrill, so Huskett. First mate. Shot brother, so William Huskett is the first mate. And that's Abigail. I guess it's standing next. To yep, there we go. And uh, what's what's her name? Where is she? 
MSB Abigail. There's a reason that this game is considered a tragedy, I suppose. Last corpse we have. Feel like you might want this game. Now would be the time to go and buy it yourself and play for it and play it. Cause uh yeah. What are you waiting for? Go play the game, it's crazy. 